nobody mattered more than my family. It's the reason why I fought and I fought and I fought every day. And your father, I just saw him lean over and hug you from the other side. <sighs> So first of all, there's a couple different souls that I'm hearing from the other side. So first of all, your father passed? Yes. Know that he's stepping forward on the other side when I'm connecting, because right away he's showing me I'm the father, I'm the father. And when I'm connecting with this man, it's actually weird because he shows me that he's all around that house with you when I'm connecting. And <laughs> when I'm connecting with your father, he says to me, now, nah. first of all, he goes, my daughter would not expect me to come through because I wasn't that type of person here in the physical world, he tells me. He shows me that he was not the type of person that would come through or talk about his emotions or talk about himself or anything like that. Never, never. He says, but you need to let my daughter know just because I didn't say anything, just because I was more reserved, he goes, doesn't mean that I didn't love her or care about her. He says, it was just the opposite. And that's why he's coming through today. Because your father says to me that you still feel on the inside that you didn't get to hear from him. You keep feeling like you didn't really know if he loved you or if he cared about you or what his true feelings were. Yes, I do. Your father said to me, Matt, I had no idea until I got to the other side. He says, you know, when your father was here, one of the biggest issues that took up a lot of his mind was his health here in the physical world when I'm connecting with him. Absolutely. He says to me, Matt, he says, I struggled with health my entire life, he tells me. And when I'm connecting with your dad, he showed me different visions of his life that I'm not understanding. For example, when I'm connecting with him, I keep seeing him getting wounds or like cuts. How do you connect with the cuts or the wounds that he would get? Uh, he had a lot of surgeries. Oh my God, because he keeps showing me different parts of his body, right? Yeah. And he keeps saying to me, I'm waiting for this to heal. I'm waiting for this to heal. And I feel like he was always waiting for different parts of him to heal. And he's also telling me it started to um, cause him some infections here in the physical world. Yes, it did. This is crazy because I'm going to be very honest with you. When I'm connecting with your dad, he's showing me like whatever was going on with him with the surgeries, right? Was affecting all of his organs when I'm connecting with him. Yes. Because yes. he shows me organs just starting to, to shut down. Yep. And your father also tells me this. He says, Matt, there's something they have to say. He <laughs> says, please tell my daughter that for five years, I was not myself, he tells me. Exactly. He keeps exactly. telling me five years, five years, five, five years, years. He was not himself at all. That's why he's coming through. Because you can understand that sometimes souls have unfinished business. If they leave this world and they look back on their life and there's something they didn't get to say to you, didn't get to cover, didn't get to tie up, that's why they're here. And your father says to me, Matt, he says, I was always easygoing and calm and cool. And then all of a sudden, those past five years, it's like you were like, what did my father turn into? This is not my dad. Like he turned into this mean, grumpy person. And you're like, I don't understand it. And nothing you could do could make this man happy. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Absolutely. I know what happened with your father because when I'm connecting with him, he's showing me one time he got infected in his blood. He's showing me mm -hmm. because I keep seeing sepsis when I'm connecting with him. He did. He had sepsis in the and hospital. He shows me. And do you know that that went to his brain? Because yes. when I'm connecting with him, he shows me because I'm asking him, was it a stroke? Was it a heart attack? He said, no. He said, I've been sick too many times. I got sepsis too many times. And it caused his whole personality to change. He did. We all said that, that he changed his personality. Well, it changed. And he wasn't reasonable. He was mean. He was never mean before in his life. That's why your dad is here. Because he says to me, Matt, can you please tell my daughter how sorry I am? Because what was so hard is that your dad watched you do everything that you could to take care of him, to love him, to bring family members around him. You would go out to stores to try to get him to eat because at the end, he tells me that he yes. didn't want to eat anything. Nothing tasted good to him. And I yes. see you try to get him his favorite foods. I try to see you do all of these things. And what's hard is, is that on your heart, you keep feeling like your dad died and didn't know everything that you did for him. He yeah. says to me, Matt, please let my daughter know that I know. And that even though I didn't get to appreciate it here in this world, I appreciate it on the other side. He says, I didn't know any better. He says, because my mind wasn't what it was. So it's really sad because when I'm connecting with your father, it's like you lost your father five years before he actually died. Yeah. And it was so hard for you because you tried to get close with him and love him and be there for him. But ever, as, much, as close as you tried to get to your father, the more that he hurt you and the more that it pained you to see him that way. Yeah. Your father says to me, Matt, he says, it was not me who suffered. It was my family who suffered. What's crazy is, is I see when you were, when, when your dad was alive, like, I don't know if you had this with your brother or your mom or who the, who the conversations were, but your dad's replaying conversations to me where I see you saying, if my father saw the way he was acting right now, he would never, ever, ever, ever 
be able to be, be able to uh, comprehend what he's doing. Yes, we did. We all talked about, about that, that maybe it was the meds or whatever they had him on, but he was, he was terrible. Well, your he dad is here to give, give you that answer because he says to me, Matt, nobody mattered more than my family. He says, it's the reason why I fought so hard to stay alive. It's the reason why I fought and I fought and I fought every day. And your father, I just saw him lean over and hug you from the other side. <sighs> He needs you to know that you can let go of all of that hurt and that pain that you've been carrying on. He says, because at the end of the day, Matt, I'm at peace and I'm able to know what my daughter did for me. And I want to bring her that same peace that she tried to give to me before I died. Thank you. You're very welcome. I also hear Dan. Who's Dan or Danny? No clue. No. This is someone that passed that's on the other side with your father. I feel like that his name was Dan, but they called him Danny here in the here in the physical world when he was alive. I don't know. Who was Rick's friend that died as a, a young kid? He's downstairs. That boy. Yeah, I think so. Danny. That's amazing. Wait, what? I just missed something. Uh, my husband is downstairs and his friend Danny died. And he's- Shut the hell up. This is what I'm telling you guys. <laughs> The, if, when, when I'm connected with the souls, right? And someone else is in that house with you, those souls can come through. And I keep hearing Danny, Danny, Danny. That was your husband's friend that died? Yeah. He's here. Oh my God. That's so know that him and your dad can see one another, even though they weren't related, didn't know each other here in the physical world, the souls can all see each other just like we are now. So please know it's his way of acknowledging that that friend that, you're, that your husband had lost is here to let him know that he says hello from heaven. That's crazy, he's, isn't it? He's wow. working in the garage. <laughs> Listen, this is what I tell you. Everyone thinks I'm crazy when I say, it doesn't matter who's on camera, it matters who's in that house because the souls know. So the fact that your husband's out here, he always talks about that friend Danny he lost when he was a little, when he was a little kid. Know that that soul is here because I kept hear, hear, saying, say Danny's here, say Danny's here because they whisper in my ear. He, <laughs> he just started vacuuming when the call started and we shut the door. <laughs> Well, listen, it's like it says, no, it's it. you, there is no escaping the spirit world. Whether you try to clean the car, whether you try to go in, in, in garden outside, doesn't matter. If there's a message to see a soul that wants to say hi, they will. That's so great. Thank you. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. 